am Faye Jones and I will be reading from Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. By the following morning, hardly anyone in Little Hangleton doubted that Frank Bryce had killed the Riddles. But over in the neighboring town of Great Hangleton, in the dark and dingy police station, Frank was stubbornly repeating again and again that he was innocent and that the only person he had seen near the house on the day of the Riddle's death had been a teenage boy, a stranger, dark-haired and pale. Nobody else in the village had seen any such boy, and the police were quite sure that Frank had invented him. Then, just when things were looking very serious for Frank, the report on the Riddle's body came back and changed everything. The police had never read an auto report. A team of doctors had examined the bodies and had concluded that none of the riddles had been poisoned, stabbed, shot, strangled, suffocated, or, as far as they could tell, harmed at all. In fact, the report continued in a tone of unmistakable bewilderment. The riddles all appeared to be in perfect health, apart from the fact that they were all dead. The doctors did note, as though determined to find something wrong with the bodies, that each of the riddles had a look of terror upon his or her face. But as the frustrated police said, whoever heard of three people being frightened to death? 